Hi there everybody, it's Anna here. I said to a few people that I would make a video about the quail eggs that we've been trying to hatch. So a couple of weeks ago we got um, 12 eggs in the post. Um, one of them was damaged so we just have 11 in the incubator at the moment. We are now on day 14 and I'm about to turn the eggs for the last time and then we're in lockdown um, expecting the eggs to hatch about Sunday. So today's Friday, so two days time. Um, so they should, I think, start internally pipping tomorrow and then maybe start hatching on Sunday. So we're going to turn the eggs and then increase the humidity levels and um, yeah, we should have chicks the next couple of days, so it's quite exciting. Here is our Brincy Mini 2 Eco with our eggs inside and you can see there are 11 eggs in there and on top of them you will see that we've got knots drawn. See there's a knot, another knot, easy to see on the light coloured ones. And on the other side there are crosses and that was just to help us when we were turning the eggs. Now the thermometer is showing that it's a bit cool just now but that's just because we've only recently closed the incubator so it will heat up and I will keep an eye on it to make sure it heats up back to normal. We've also just filled up the water chamber a bit more so this chamber here will put the water into the middle and increase the humidity so we need to keep that um, humidity up for when they're hatching because it's easier for them to hatch with high humidity. You don't want them to get stuck inside the shells. So that is us and hopefully we will have chicks in the next few days. It's now Saturday the 18th of April and we are on day 15. The chicks should probably be pipping around now internally which is breaking into the air cell. Um, I've seen some of them wobbling. The ones at the front not so much but there's this guy at the back with the bow on top. Hard to see, but it is moving. 